Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to find all kinds of great clips. Now enjoy the video. We are in Beaufort, South Carolina, and they are generating quite a buzz around here. <laughs> Take note, there's quite a vibe in the air that's also music to the ears. Beaufort is nestled among South Carolina's coastal estuaries and marshes, about 70 miles southwest of Charleston. With a population of about 13,000, one can quickly become immersed in Beaufort's southern charm. But just a few miles from its historic downtown is a spot that's guaranteed to make any visitor go, hmm. Listen closely. You never know when you need to do some spontaneous kazoo playing. We sell fun for a living, and I don't care whether you're three years old or you're 85 years old, you give somebody a kazoo whether they played it before uh, or not, uh, they always get a big smile on their face. It's a fun thing to talk about. By now, you've probably figured out what people in Beaufort have known for more than 17 years. Stephen Murray is one of a kind. <laughs> Steven is the president and CEO of Kazubi Kazoos. That is hard to say, Kazubi Kazoo. The 6,500 square foot kazoo production facility is probably the only place on earth where they make the kazoo and celebrate its vibrant history. I see some pretty old kazoos here. It looks like some old metal ones. Uh, we've been collecting them for years and they were stacking up in my office on bookshelves and uh, when we got our new facility here we thought how cool would it be to, to put a kazoo museum together. So in 2007, Stephen opened up the Kazoo Museum. It even features a multimedia presentation. Groups such as the Beatles, Pink Floyd, the Kinks, and others featured kazoo songs. Where and when was the first <laughs> kazoo invented? Do we know? Jan, that is an awesome question. That's why I'm so proud to be a kazoo manufacturer, because the kazoo was actually invented in America. It was invented in the 1840s. Uh, it's a multicultural instrument invented by a freed slave who had the idea and the concept for the kazoo. His name was Alabama Vest. Alabama Vest, who was from Georgia, got together with a German clockmaker who used his technical know-how to build an instrument that looked like a mini tin submarine. So they called it the Down South Submarine, and we know that in 1852, uh, they exhibited their, their Down South Submarine at the Georgia State Fair in Macon, Georgia. That little tin device took the country by storm. By the late 1800s, they started calling the Down South Submarine a kazoo. Nobody really knows why. Today, Stephen provides this humble instrument with the showcase he says it deserves. The Red Hot Chili Peppers, Led Zeppelin, uh, there's been a long history. Stop. Oh yeah, Eric Clapton in his Unplugged album used, used kazoo. It's probably never gonna be the lead instrument, you know, like the guitar or the bass. But never say never around a band like the Carolina Chocolate Drops. Their rockin' rendition of Memphis Shakedown always brings the house down. But for the rest of us, the kazoo can be both musical and mystifying. I got no clue. This is not working. I don't get it. Do you need water to play it? I don't know how this works. <laughs> it's just a matter of humming into it, not blowing into it, and letting the kazoo do the rest. Back at Kazooby Kazoo's, Steven shows off his collection. This is my Popeye pipe kazoo from 1934. Oh, and Wimpy. Yep. Where's olive oil? Oh, you know, that's a great question. Oh, you know oh my Where's gosh. the female representation? We've got to have equality here. I think you guys should create an olive oil kazoo, I'm just saying. It seems the further into the collection we go, the more eccentric it becomes. I know you hum into the mouth of the fish and the exhaust comes out of the tail. Well, I'd definitely rather hum into the mouth. <laughs> Personally, <laughs> but. We sell a pile of these every year, and we call it the humbucker electric kazoo. And then anybody can be a rock star. So, Rodney, I know you've always wanted to be a rock star. And you go. Go. 
I think you're gonna have a little trouble breaking that over the amplifier. Yeah, you can't. You can't just like no, throw it on the ground. If you right? smash it, it wouldn't have the same effect. Yeah. <laughs> but as we said earlier, collecting kazoos is just part of Stephen's story. The other part really hits home. A plastic kazoo, right? So you're thinking, made offshore? Nope, right here in the USA. Up oh, factory this way. Just behind the museum is Kazoobie's factory, where visitors can watch kazoos being made to the tune of nearly 5,000 a day. They are shipped across the globe. We ship kazoos to 26 different countries, and uh, what's exciting for American manufacturers, especially small ones like us, is that there is a, a big demand for American-made products all over the world. A visit to the museum or factory will do more than just brighten your day. It'll almost surely end it on the right note. He's a professional. You are a natural. He's a kazoo savant. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.